Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 911, we have Rasad Yin Bashir. I'm assuming I pronounced that correctly. Uh, so for three mana, we get a 0-3 human monk. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. And then whenever you saw it, attacks, if you have the initiative, double the toughness of each creature you control in the turn. Choose a background. Yeah, that, that middle part there I kind of ignored. Uh, so we're dealing with toughness matter. So he's white, so we needed a background to give us another color. The logical choice for me was green because a lot of those toughness matters cards are white and or green. So what I did was raise my giants. Now this wasn't the first, the first background. I built it and it didn't turn out that good. Raised by Giants just seem like, um, yeah, uh, base power 10-10. Yeah, so it is toughness matters, so um, uh, a little redundancy doesn't hurt. You know, uh, Assault Formation, Plotly, Sun's Heart, and then the Belligerent Brontodon all fit along those same things. Now, because of the seven mana dino, we do have quite a bit of ramp. Um, I'll be honest with you, it may be too much. <laughs> I think this is what Sheldon's talking about when he's talking about excessive ramp. So here we go. And, and feel free to, uh, uh, to comment any cards because I could probably use five or six of these and replace it with something else. So we have the Celestial Locket, Soul Ring, Signet, Llanowar Elf, Kodama's Reach, explore beanstalk giant is kind of a decent one you know for three mana you get the rampant growth but you also you know get the creature later trying this new venture forth uh seeing how it works you know elvish mystic nature's lore three visits avison's pilgrim far seek harrow ranger's path like i said that's a whole bunch um but before we get into our high toughness creatures, I want to to look at the um, the pumps, if you will. Uh, like tower defense is an instant that gives your team plus zero plus five and reach till end of turn. That that reach is not to be underestimated, but plus five at instant speed. Uh, yeah, especially now to what we're talking is the front number. Um, and the back, yeah, it's it's crazy. Uh, Eland Umbra, <clears throat> I really like this. It, it's cheap. It gives typically things that only give buffs to toughness are very very low in mana cost. Uh, but this having totem armor is just beautiful. Refuse to yield. Um, yeah, untap it. It gets two plus seven. This is the ultimate combat blocking trick. If you swung with something, I love this new stone skin. Flash at a plus 10. Okay. Uh, good old-fashioned slagwood armor gives plus 6 to toughness, you know. So so let's get into our high toughness creatures. Because Jordan Royal Guard. Now this, you saw the amount of ramp. Our background cost, you know, a lot of mana was like 6. So we'll be able to cast our background. And things like Jordan Royal Guard can save you a lot of damage. You know, it, it, it's printed at five, but more than likely it'll be 15. Uh, Arasta. Instant and sorcery spells get cast, so we might as well get those little reachers. L Laguna Ban Trailblazer. Uh, zero four for one mana. Grizzly Leo two. Uh, veteran Armor helping everybody out. Kikakophon. Dealt damage, untapped target permanence, you know, 2-5. Jareth, because why not? <laughs> Looming Altasaur for a 1-7 for 4 mana, that's not bad. Now, Tireless Tribe was one of the first cards that I thought of when years ago when we saw Doran for the first time. I think that was the card that really gave Toughness Matters a theme. But, Yes, we're in white, green, and don't have a lot of card draw, but you know what? There are times when people just make you discard your hand, or you can 
with the tribe, discard your, you know, three or four cards and get a win. I'll do it every time. Now, Kiljorn for all species is just a personal favorite of mine. I know the Cockatrice could have fit this role or Thicket Basilisk or all the above because they're all two fours and they pretty much do the same thing. But Kiljorn for all species, come on. Um, Jaddy Live Strider. A 2 8. Yeah, you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control and gain two life for each creature tapped this way. That's not why we're playing it. We're playing it for the eight toughness, and we all know it. Just like Zat or Zatalpa. Almost called it the wrong dinosaur. You know, flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, indestructible, four, eight, that's going to hit like an eight, that's going to hit like a 16. That's crazy. And to be honest with you, it may hit like, let's see, 8 plus 10, but yeah, the, the math gets silly. But there's a whole other category of high toughness creature that we hadn't talked about yet. Rolling Stones lets us attack with walls as they were not walls. And yeah, I, I could be running, uh, you know, enlightened tutors or idyllic tutors to find the Rolling Stones uh, and make it a little quicker, but... And that may be where some of those ramp spells need to go. But we have Overgrown Battlement, which is probably one of the better walls, uh, just simply because of what it does. Um, here again, it, it's more mana ramp, you know, uh, similar to our Vine Trellis. Um, now, I do like the Stalwart Shielders. Creatures you control with Defender get a little bit tougher. Uh, wall of Ice, that big seven toughness. One drops, wall of wood, you know, uh, excavated wall. This wall of omens, man, that new double masters wall of omens is beautiful. I can't wait to see it. Um, steel wall, Axbane guardian. Now this is uh, another one. X is the number of defenders you have. Uh, crenellated wall. I saw Chris play crenellated wall in one of his decks. Uh, Tree of Redemption, because, you know, why not? Especially if this is a, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> Wall of Tangle Cord, and then Wall of Swords, going to have a little bit of flyers in there. Overrun's going to help us, of course, get there uh, to we need to break through. Ascend from Avernus, um, just, just bringing them back. Here again, the ramp helps this. Um, it's Regenesis. It's regrowing two cards is never a bad thing. And then, of course, Story Circle. Uh, there, It seems like there's always a common enemy color at the table. Story Circle, I don't think gets enough credit. Um, and it's an amazing card. Now, let's get into our removal, shall we? Um we do have our typical we hate artifacts and enchantments because we're green and white you know disenchant naturalize return to nature but we also got of course the good old-fashioned beast within uh an afterlife uh, but now slaughter the strong each player chooses any number of creatures they control with total power four or less we're gonna get more in in this equation than our opponents get uh, and then, of course, go just depopulate because I had bought, I think I bought 20 or so depo full depopulates. They were under a quarter piece. So I was like, you know, that's not bad. Which brings us to our non-basic lands. Of course, we start off with our command tower. I like the Gavney Township. You know, if you don't have anything to do with that mana, at the end of the turn before you, you just put a counter on your team. Couple cycling lands and tranquil thicket, secluded step. Uh, got our terramorphic and evolving wilds. Rogue's Passage. I lost a game to a Rogue's Passage uh, Friday night, as a matter of fact. Oh, getting all tilty. Um, grasslands, tranquil expanse, blossoming sands, botanical plaza. Thorn Glint Bridge, Grey Pelt Refuge, 
Celestia Guildgate. So that is deck number nine eleven. Um, in hindsight, maybe I I should have uh, had like a, a deck full of nine elevens, but I don't know that there's enough nine elevens to you know to merit an entire deck. Um, as you can tell behind me, there's a ton of stuff here. This room is actually in a little bit of chaos right now because there's major things going on. I'll tell you all, all, all about that. I'll probably do a life update soon sometime uh, just to kind of keep you apprised of what's going on. But uh, let's go put 911 on the wall, assuming we can see it from here. Yes, we can. I, I, I guess you can tell that I have, uh, I have 910 playing with it so 911 starts a new row and that is it for today i do appreciate everybody watching being so very patient um i know i haven't been as uh, frequent as i like to be but i'm gonna i'm trying to fix that <laughs> uh i appreciate y'all thank you so much but right now we're gonna shuffle and cut